Mike was getting old. Mike the battery had passed. And he was taking some freight cars to the market and loading the cows, the cattle. The sun showed great saying that Mike was heading for trouble. Come on, come on, he said. Oh, 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 said the cars. But Mike, with determination, made sure they carried along. Some cows were in a field grazing nearby. They didn't like engines. The noise and smoke disturbed them. One of them ran across the line and uncoupled the car. Two, a couple, some cars were left behind. And some cows were there. Mike felt a jerk, but didn't take much notice. He was used to cattle cars. Bother, he said. Why can't they just come in so quietly? When Gordon and Henry heard the news, they laughed and laughed. Fancy a cow stopping our trains. They wouldn't dare do that to us. We'd show them. You couldn't help it, Mike, said Anthony. They never met cows. I have, and I know the trouble they are. Some days later, Gordon thundered past with the express. Oh, boop, mind the cows. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Don't make such a fuss. Don't make such a fuss, said the coaches. He was going super fast, Gordon. Hurry, 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 he said to the coach. In the distance was a bridge. It seemed to Gordon that something was on the bridge. Whoa, said Gordon. And his driver shut off saying, Ha, huh, said Gordon. It's only a cow. Show, show. Whee. Gordon didn't know what to do. Just then Henry passed on the opposite line. He should have said the same line, and strange that they could have crashed. The cow not been there. What's this? A cow. I'll soon settle her. Shoo, shoo, be off, be off. Henry backed away. I don't want to hurt her. And then he went back to the last station. The driver and fireman laughed. That must be Bluebell. Said, said Kong. Her calf's here, waiting for her to be taken away. Anthony will fetch her. So Anthony coupled up to the missing cars, and off he went. Cows were glad to be reunited, and the porter led them into the car. Uh -huh. Thomas and Anthony puffed back, back to the sheds. Gordon carried on. Not a word, keep it secret, whispered Gordon to Henry. That night, the engines talked about the situation. Well, 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 said Mike. Two big engines, afraid of a cow. Afraid? Rubbish, said Gordon. We didn't want the poor thing to hurt herself by running up against us. We stopped so as not to excite her. You see what I mean, my dear Mike? Yes, Gordon, said Mike. Gordon and Henry both felt somehow that Mike saw only too well.